All right, fourth graders, we are on unit three, week five. Our story this week is called Paul Bunyan. So you can have your word collectors out and be ready to learn some new vocabulary this week. Our first word this week is lumberjacks. A sentence using this word is these lumberjacks are sawing a log. So this should be um, a pretty familiar word. You've probably heard this word before. Okay, so based on those picture clues and then based on the clues in the sentence, what do you think lumberjacks are? Or what do you think that means? So lumberjacks are loggers or people who work cutting down trees and then sending those logs to sawmills. So really good synonym um, for the word lumberjacks would be loggers. I think that's a really good word to remember as a synonym. Okay, so now we have some pictures of real life loggers. Now I want you to think about what special equipment might a lumberjack need. So what special equipment might a lumberjack need? If you look at these pictures, you can see some equipment that they use, an ax, um, they use saws. Okay, they might even need some protective equipment too, like the one is wearing a helmet to protect himself. So they're people that cut down trees and then send those logs to sawmills. Our next word is harness. A sentence using the word harness is each construction worker is wearing a harness. So if you look at the, this picture, okay, you can see like right here and right here, um, these construction workers are wearing a harness. So think about what that word means or what it is. So a harness is an arrangement of straps or bands used to attach two things. Okay, so someone may wear a harness skydiving, rock climbing, working construction. Okay, if you look at these pictures right here, um, all of these people in this picture are wearing a harness for skydiving. Okay, so that they are attached together and attached to a parachute. Um, and then the person right here is wearing a harness when they are rock climbing, okay? So they are attached to a cord um, that connects them to the top of the hill so they don't fall. Um, a harness would also be considered, like a saddle on a horse would be considered a har harness um, because you're attaching um, the saddle to the horse. So that would be another one. Our next word is feature. This cell phone features a calendar, features a calendar feature. So we got that word in there twice. Okay, so if you look at the cell phone, it's kind of an older looking cell phone, um, but most cell phones have a calendar feature. Okay, so I want you to think about what that word means. So feature means something that stands out and attracts attention. Okay, so I right away think of um, a feature in a book. Okay, so we think of like graphic sources and text features. Um, you think about a picture. Okay, that stands out and that attracts a reader's attention. A caption does, a heading does, table of contents. So those are text features. Okay, so look at this picture right here and think about what feature do you notice first about this puppy? Okay, so feature something that stands out and attracts your attention right away. For me, the feature that I notice about this puppy is their eyes. Okay, they have really bright blue eyes. So that would be something that stands out. Okay, that would be a feature about this dog. Our next word is untamed. A sentence using the word untamed is these horses are untamed. Okay, so I want you to look at this picture and really use those context clues from this picture um, and look at where the horses are at. Okay, do they look like they're on a farm? Do they look like they're just on an open range? Okay, where do you think these horses are at and what would make them be untamed? So untamed means wild or not domesticated. Okay, untamed means wild or not domesticated. So what are some animals that are untamed? So I think of tamed animals would be like dogs and cats. Okay, those are domesticated animals, things that are pets, like fish, dogs, cats. So what would be some animals that are untamed? 
I think of like animals you'd find in the wild, um, like a lion or a tiger. Those would be animals that are untamed, a gorilla, okay, things like that. They would be wild or not domesticated. Our next word is announcement. This announcement tells about a baby's birth. So if you look at this picture, this is the cover of like a card um, that you might send to someone as an announcement um, of a baby being born. So think about what does announcement mean? So an announcement is a public or formal notice. A public or formal notice. So I want you to think about what is an announcement our principal may make over the intercom during our day. Okay, almost every day there's at least one or a few announcements that come over our intercom. So think about what do we hear for announcements every day or some days. Okay, I think of whenever we have indoor recess, right, there's an announcement that's made over the intercom to tell us that we'll be indoors. Okay, so that would be one example of an announcement. Our next word is thaw. A sentence using the word thaw is, when it became, began to thaw, the snowman began to melt. Okay, if you look at this picture, we have a snowman. He's looking a little sad looking because he's starting to thaw. Okay, or he's starting to melt. Let's think about what that word means. So thaw means make or become less cold. Okay, to thaw become less cold. So if we look at this picture right here, um, this is a picture of a lake, okay? Um, and you can notice that it's starting to thaw out, okay? We know this because there's patches of ice, there's some patches of snow, okay? But it's becoming less cold, so this lake is thawing out. So this is a picture we could see in Minnesota. So I want you to think about when does the ice and snow usually begin to thaw in Minnesota? So things usually usually thaw out when it becomes warmer, okay? So usually around March, end of February into March is when things get a little bit warmer um, and that snow is melting and things are starting to thaw out. Our next word is requirements. A sentence using requirements is wearing a seatbelt is a requirement. Okay, so I want you to think about what that word means. What is a requirement? So requirements are demands or things that need to be done. So wearing your seatbelt is something that needs to be done. It's required by the law that we wear seatbelts. So I want you to think about what are some requirements for getting a driver's license. So can I just show up um, at the driver's license place and say, oh, please give me a driver's license. Probably not. So what things would someone need to do? Um, what requirements or demands do they have to do in order to get a driver's license? So some requirements they would have is to go to classes. Um, then they'd have to pass a written test. Then they'd have to take classes of driving behind the wheel. And then they'd have to take a driving test. So there's many requirements for someone who wants to get their driver's license. And our last word this week is unnatural. Okay, a sentence using the word unnatural is, it is unnatural to see an animal on a skateboard. So if we look at this word unnatural, okay, we have two different words. Okay, we have the word un, well we have the prefix un, and then we have the word natural. So if you know what natural means, and then we add the prefix of un, okay, what would unnatural mean? So unnatural means not natural, not normal. So that prefix of un means not. So unnatural would mean not natural. So I'm going to list off a few things, and I want you to think about are these things natural or are they unnatural? Okay, so a dog with pink hair. Okay, is that something that's normal? Probably not. So we could say that that's unnatural. It's not normal. Okay. 
A cat playing basketball? Probably unnatural. It is not natural or not normal. And the last one, a horse eating hay. This one we would say is natural. Okay, this is something that's normal. We know that horses generally and usually eat hay, so that would be natural. And this is our last word for the week, kiddos. We had eight words this week, quite a few words. So make sure that if you need to go back and rewind um, and review a few things that you go ahead and do that. Thank you for being active learners.